One of the great myths of the Second World War is that President Franklin D. Roosevelt sold out Eastern Europe at the Yalta Conference, in which the fate of post-war Europe was decided. The popular belief is that Roosevelt turned a blind eye to the fate of Poland, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, what was then Czechoslovakia. There was simply nothing that the United States could have done to prevent Eastern Europe from falling into the Soviet sphere of influence. It was the Soviet Union and not the United States that had borne the brunt of the fighting against Germany. It was the Red Army and not the U.S. Army that had liberated Eastern Europe. Now, Roosevelt knew that there was tremendous political pressure to bring American soldiers back home as soon as Germany was defeated. The United States simply didn't have the will, and it certainly didn't have the personnel, to displace a two million man Soviet occupying army. The end of the Second World War marked a turning point in American attitudes toward our relationships with the rest of the world. Even in 1945, there was a sense that, well, the United States just simply couldn't pick up. The United States couldn't leave a power vacuum in the center of Europe. Now, from a distance of 70 years, we think of NATO, the Marshall Plan, the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund as having been inevitable outcomes of the Second World War. But none of those were foregone conclusions in 1945. An institution like NATO marked a revolutionary change. Similar to today, in the spring of 1945, policymakers in Washington, D.C. were making it up as they went along. Just like the current coronavirus pandemic, in the spring of 1945, policymakers were dealing with challenges that they had never confronted before. 